Holy crap, I cannot believe I'm here right now. Welcome to Mongolia. The journey starts off in Ugly, where I will be meeting with my buddy Steven and the rest of the crew. This is the beginning of a two-week expedition across Mongolia. West, we are headed towards the Altai Mountains, where we will be staying with an eagle hunter and his family. I am sitting inside of an eagle hunter's home. Crazy. Four times a year, every season, the nomads migrate in search of warmer climates with green pastures to feed their herd. We are currently staying at one of their summer homes. In this western part of Mongolia, the predominantly group residing here are Kazakhs. The eagle hunter's outfit is beautifully crafted from wolf, fox, and horse skin. Completely off the grid, they live solely on the land using water from the running rivers and rely on their livestock for food. Good horsey.
And that's a wrap. Wait, hold up. I can try it on. Oof. Well, I guess. Insert epic music. That is dried cow's poop. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell. Amambalek. Mmm, <laughs> some yogurt for dessert. And we're off. We are continuing our journey west all the way to the Russia-China border where we will be staying with the Tsultan people. So then you just go, oh shit. Grabbing some quick breakfast before we shoot with another eagle hunter. This place is just so wild. Untouched land, desolate. The weather can definitely be unforgiving at times. But that's all part of the adventure, right? To experience cultures different from our own and to learn what it really means to be human. Continuing our journey west, we've arrived at a broken bridge. The only way I 
across is through the help of some friends. So I'm staying with another nomadic family right now and it's super crazy that this is our third nomadic family that we're staying with and every single time we've come up to their one of their yurts somehow somewhere some way our guide knows which yurt we're supposed to be because we pass by like so many of them all on the way and we just open the door and walk in and they somehow know each other <laughs> it's super crazy but also at the same time while we're staying in, in these yurts random people from the village will just come in and open the door thinking that there's another family inside definitely this beats any kind of tour group that you can go on and it's pretty awesome we're gonna be going to base camp this morning and then afterwards uh, summoning one of these peaks up behind me <laughs> and they're all three in a row. <laughs> this is the best. Do not leave your kids with me. I will feed them coke. So bad. <laughs> yeah, high five. Yeah. Every time you enter a new family's home, it's customary that they serve you milk tea. And it's fresh milk, unpasteurized. I'm surprised I haven't gotten sick yet, but I think you just have a strong stomach. All right, here we go, off towards the Globy Desert. off to our very last stop of the trip, going to be visiting a Mongolian family known for producing camel's milk and herding horses. If you notice, these Mongolian gurus are completely different compared to the Cossack ones that we stayed at in the beginning.
you made it this far, thank you for watching and until the next adventure. If you could do anything today, what would make today the perfect day? Everything. You couldn't butter, go to them with a good. Because you're going to get better than what you're going to do with better.